Hello friends, welcome to the video series on SQL practical questions. So here is another interesting question where we are going to write a query to compute the group salary of employee. So we have the employee table which contains the information about all the employees and his reporting manager and the salary what he is drawing. So what we are going to do is we are going to write a query to compute the group salary of each employee. So what I mean by group salary is the organization salary. That means it includes the employee salary along with the all the reportee salary. For example, suppose this employee information is stored in a uh, given table that is the employee table which will have information like the employee number, name and the manager who is reporting. For king it is null because that is the root node and the salary of individual employee. So now what we are going to do is we are going to write a query to compute the group salary. For example, if I want to compute a group salary of Scott employee means the group salary of Scott includes his salary and all the reporting person under him. So in this case only Adams is reporting to Scott. So the Scott's group salary is 250. So this is the expected output. If you see the Scott, the expected group salary is 250. Same way for Ford. Only Smith is reporting to Ford. So the group salary of Ford is 175, which you can see here, 175. Same way, if you want to compute the organization for, for John's means, John's includes John's salary and all the person under him. So in this case, four people are under John's organization. So that includes the total salary of John's plus all the people. So that will come around 1000. 225 like this okay so this is how we are this is what the expected output now let us see how to write a query to achieve this functionality so if you are a beginner i would suggest you just continue watching this video and then try by yourself but if you already know the hierarchical queries i would suggest you pause this video try by attempt by yourself then come back and cross check here okay let me first create the table now the table is created. I am just populating all the uh, test data for our query. So all the records are inserted. I've just committed the data. Okay. Let us first query from the table. Yes, the informations are there. Now let us know we need to provide one more column called a group salary, which should contain the information of the group salary, what we are computing. So before even going and computing the group salary, first let us write a simple hierarchical query from this employee table. Employee underscore T. Okay, let us start with uh, manager is null because I just want to start from the root node. Okay, so let us first see the all the path of the employee so that we'll know a bit a clear idea. Let us use this connect by path function. Let us say e name. Yes, so this will give a, a bit idea like how the uh, data is organized. Suppose if I want to compute the uh, group salary of Scott, so let us say I want to start with e name equal to Scott. So this will ideally give us the uh, including Scott all the people reporting under him. So in this case we got Scott and Adams. Just to check let us say Johns. So in this case we got Johns and all the people reporting under him. The complete hierarchy under the John. So we got all the five people here. Suppose in this case if I want to uh, compute the total salary. So just we can use sum of salary. Right. So this will give the John's organization group salary. Same way if you want Scott, we can just change it, right? So we got the Scott salary, fine. But this query will give the um, group salary for each and every individual person. But what we, ex what we want is, we want all the employee salary and the group salary, okay? So that's quite simple. The same logic, we can just put it as an inline view here, okay? So instead of this e name, let us take from the outer table. So let's say a dot e name because outer table alias I've just given as a. So I've just given a dot e name. Okay, now if you see, let us give a proper alias here for group salary. 
So now this is what we need, right? So the logic is quite simple. First, you try constructing a simple query, which will just give you the groups array of the individual person. Then you can just use it as part of your actual query as inline view. Okay, so this is uh, uh, one of the better way because here we are not using function. The entire logic we are trying to embed in the SQL itself. Okay, let us see one more way. The same logic, exactly the same logic, but I am just writing as a function. If you can see here, the same hierarchical query what we saw earlier, I just put it into the function. The only change I did is that instead of hard coding the value, I am just passing this name as a parameter here. So let me just create the function. Now the function is created. So this function I'm just using as part of the employee query. Okay, now this is another way, but the advantage here is that this functionality we can reuse wherever we want the group salary of an employee. But in an earlier case, and it is just embedded as part of the SQL itself. The advantage in the earlier case is the performance benefit because we are not using any uh, functions. As by that way, we are actually avoiding the context switch, all those things. But if you want to reuse the functionality, then you can use as create as a function and that function can be used wherever you need. So this is second way of uh, writing this functionality. Let us see one more way, exactly the same functionality, but instead of writing as a, a standalone function, I'm just writing this function as part of the select statement itself in the width class. Okay. But keep, but the logic is exactly the same. There is no other difference. It's exactly the same function. I just put it in the width class and that function, I'm just using it in the select statement here. Okay. Um, but keep it in mind, this uh, function supported in width class is only from 12 version only. Okay, uh, so uh, these are the three methods by which we can able to achieve just to uh, just to summarize the entire thing. The first method, we are just writing the entire thing as part of the select statement. The key learning here is that first try attempting this query, then you just use this query as part of the select statement as an inline view. In the second method, the same functionality, I just put it as part of function and that particular function, I'm just using as part of the select statement. In the third method, exactly the same function only, but I'm just using as part of the with class function. Okay, I've just uh, given all these SQL statement in this particular link, so you can just copy and try by yourself. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature videos, interview questions, concept videos, SQL practical question. Thanks a lot. If you have any comments, please share it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID.